What is good YouTube? My name is Emil Ross and welcome back to the Martial Consulting channel. In today's video we are going to talk about hiring for your dojo, when should you hire, who should you hire first, should you even ever hire anyone, all of that good stuff. With that being said, I don't want to talk about anything else here. Sorry for that. So let's straight up jump into it. Um, firstly I have to give like a quick disclaimer here because I've never run a dojo myself and um, I basically don't know so because I've never run a dojo myself I don't know when to hire what etc but I guess I can give you my knowledge about hiring in general in different business uh, spheres whatever you want to call it this is what I'll do but just take this with a pinch of salt anyways um first lesson don't hire anyone until it is really necessary so let's say you're thinking about Hiring someone for marketing or whatever. Yeah, let's say you're thinking about hiring someone for marketing, right? Either it's an in-house market marketing team, an agency, whatever it is. Um, you basically don't want to do this until you're until you're like extremely busy with with uh, teaching your classes. So, so until you get to the point where where like literally like. You, 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 you're, you're so focused on teaching classes and on running your dojo that you can't focus on marketing anymore or whatever it is, you outsource it. Outsource it. But until you get to this point, you do it all yourself. And it's the same with teaching your classes. You want to teach your classes for that long alone until you get so many students that you don't know where to put them all and then you hire instructors. Uh, instructors. And truthfully, like the order in which you, in which you hire people, I would say, it's probably going to be someone like receptionist or instructors first, but take this with a pinch of salt. I might be wrong here. Um, because well if you if you would only if you would focus like your entire energy on, on marketing and sales, like let's say you start off with your daughter, right? And we take this from the beginning, you focus on marketing and sales all the time, you get students into your daughter, right? And then you have to basically teach them the best classes possible. But you will get to the point where, where you can't handle both. You can't teach all of these students because you're getting so many and you're so good at marketing. Maybe you're not there yet and maybe this might seem completely unrealistic for you right now, but truly it's it's possible to get there. Um, so you you basically then just um, just start hiring like an instru instructor or like a receptionist who handles the calls for you. And then you basically take yourself a little bit more away from those systems and you focus more on the I don't know, on the other stuff, on running your dojo, or maybe looking up a second location, right? Whatever it is. Um, I guess that's when you should hire. But this is where we get to the most important lesson of this video. It's that you don't want to hire anyone until you're better at the craft than they are. So let's say you're hiring an instructor, but you don't even know yourself how to teach a martial arts class. Um, well, let's say your instructor would get sick, would go to the hospital, obviously, God forbid, but you know, we humans, bad things happen to us. It's just how life is designed. <laughs> Hate it or love it, it's just the way it is. Um, and yeah, let's say they, they, let's say they die because a bus hit them, or let's say they're just in the hospital, or let's say they quit your job, whatever it is. There, there are so many few things that can happen here. Um, and let's say you don't know how to teach a martial arts club. Martial arts club. Dude, you're, or dude, a woman, you're fucked. <laughs> like, wh what do you want to do then? You, you, you will stand there, you'll be like, all right, now we're going to, do you maybe know the martial arts, but you don't know how to teach her, right? So you want to, you want to be better than the instructor and te teaching the martial arts club, because let's say he's away, all right, you're just gonna put in some extra hours, but it's possible, you can teach the class yourself. Uh, same with the receptions, let's say the same would happen to, um, to him or her. Um, you, you want to be so good at marketing and at, at, at doing the phone calls yourself that it could be like, all right, yeah, I'm going to do the calls myself today because uh, he or she is sick, whatever, right? So um, you truly always want to be better than your employees at, the, at your craft. And also, how do you want to employ them if they're like better than you? I mean, truly, like there's a point, all right, when you're at like seven figures, whatever, and then you hire people and they're better than you, all right, all right, all right. Or at eight figures, whatever, all right. I don't know about that stuff, that might be true, but we're talking here more about like those early stages where you get to six, maybe seven figures, uh, whatever it is. Anyways, that's uh, already everything I have for you in today's video. If you found it helpful, leave a like. Um, there's a link in the description, click it on it's a sales funnel. Me explaining how we can help you get more students, potentially. Check it out or don't do so, I don't care. With that being said, um, subscribe, don't put the bell notification on because um, I want you to focus on Running your dojo, growing your dojo, scaling your dojo, whatever it's called. 
instead of getting uh, notifications when we upload a new YouTube video. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.